Hey, what's up everybody, Goblin here. Today I'd like to show you how with inside windows using Hyper-V and Debian we can install Pi-hole and get network-wide ad blocking through a DNS redirect. So here we have Hyper-V Manager and we're gonna go ahead and we need a switch first. So we'll create a Pi-hole switch. All you have to do is click, uh, click the Virtual Switch Manager and we'll come in here and just name this Pi-hole switch. And then you're going to pick your ethernet that your internet is based on. And then we'll go ahead and make a new virtual machine. And then we'll just name this one Pi Hole, since that's all it's going to be running on it. These settings, actually, you can run this with one gig of RAM, no problem. I'm just going to put four in for the filming of it, for speed of it. We'll select the switch we just made. And then we'll go ahead and change the hard drive side to 10. You do not need 10 gigs. I'm just, once again, doing it for luxury. And then we'll go ahead and pick the new ISO here. Pretty straightforward. And we'll go ahead and turn on your new virtual machine. And you can see here's the uh, the Debian install screen. We'll go ahead and pick a graphical install for the video. It'll be more interesting for you guys. Pretty basic options here. We'll just go ahead and click through a bunch of these. And then I've gone ahead and uh, sped up the installation for you guys as well. So here we'll go ahead and just call this pie hole so everybody knows. You don't need to enter anything here. You can choose any password you want. And then here you'll need to make a new user account. So we'll just do this again. And you're going to have to enter a password for the new user as well. You might want to go get a drink or something. You're about ready to sit through a rather lengthy install. But once again, I've sped it up in the video. You can see it already knows it's a virtual disk. And then Linux will not let you screw this up. You can't just hammer enter. And then this is going to be if we want to use an online mirror to keep up to date, which I highly recommend we do. You're already getting internet through the switch we created. Here's actually the advertisement on their website. I thought I'd play a little bit of this for you guys while everything was installing in the background. And once again, going back to it. Now here, if, if you'd like to have a GUI, you can pick a GUI, but to uh, save on memory usage and really streamline this, we're going to remove all of that and just go back to good old command prompt. Here we are, we finished up the installation of Debian. And now that we're in here, I'll go ahead and put up the commands on the left side of what we're going to be going through so you can follow along at home without trying to read the tiny text as I type it. So here we're going to su to root. And then you're going to app git uh, curl. And then we need to insert the uh, Debian disk again so it can grab some files from it. So don't delete that. Keep it around. So now that we're back at this, we actually need to give it a static IP address. So we're going to go into the network interfaces and correct this. Make sure to tag out the first two entries before putting in the rest. Obviously, you're going to want to use your own IP address, however your network's set up, if it's 192.168.1 or .10 like you see here. Another good trick would be to make sure it's an address outside of what your DHCP client is going to be putting out so that it can't accidentally get leased to a different computer. So 
Same thing with your gateway. Make sure that you're putting in your actual network and not just copying what I'm typing in here. And we'll go ahead and save this. And then we're going to issue a reboot command. Once this loads up again, we're going to su back to root. Okay, so now we're gonna use curl to install PyHole. This is the recommended method of installation on their website, though they have alternate methods. As you can see, we need the installation media yet again. So here we've basically finished installation. The rest of this is minor configuration. What, what DNS servers do you want to use? If you want to set up IP4 or IP6, you can see I disabled IP6 here. And then if you want to use the web admin interface, etc. And then afterwards, it will generate a rather complex password. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put in a command to change that password to something simpler. And then after that, we're basically done. We can close the Hyper-V down, even though it's running in the background. And we're going to pull up our own router. And then here, we're going to redirect everybody on the network to the Hyper-V for DNS. Uh, if you have the option, make sure you push the DNS to all devices that are currently on the network. And then you're going to want to put the secondary domain in as Google in case the Hyper-V goes down. In case there's an emergency, everybody's internet will still work. Which is pretty important if you have multiple clients. So let's just go to a website. Here we'll pull up Ars Technica really quick so that we're generating some traffic. And I can show that it actually is passing through the Hyper-V now. So there's Ars Technica, and here's our PyHole install. And there's some just advertising agencies coming up. You can see the domains that we've recrossed through already and what clients were pulling them up. Um, the top uh, query types and forward destinations aren't there yet because we just installed it, but you'll have graphs there. And here we can actually see a log of exactly when things were looked up and, and what happened. We can blacklist domains here. And then you can see settings tons of settings you can even see temperatures all sorts of fun stuff so let's click back to the dashboard and that's it anybody can log into this on your network as long as they have the password but it just runs in the background nobody actually needs to do this it's beneficial for everybody without them knowing so we can open up Hyper-V and look it's only taking 700 megs of RAM it's basically just taking a tiny little bit in the background and everybody benefits